Hi students, Miss Cohn here, and today we are going to learn how to draw a fantastical ice cream cone inspired by the work of sculptor Anna Barlow. I can't wait to see what you make. Thanks for watching. Hi students, Miss Cohn here, and today we are going to celebrate with some ice cream cones. Now, these ice cream cones might be simple like Wayne Tebow's or more messy and delicious like Anna Barlow. It is up to you. No matter which way you choose, we're gonna get started with paper, pencil, and an eraser. Of course, like with all my videos, if you wanna use marker later on, if you wanna add color with maybe some colored pencils, or if you have crayons or colored markers, maybe even if you have paint, of course you can add whatever you'd like later. All we need to start paper, pencil, and an eraser. All right, I'm just gonna be showing you how to draw one cone, but you can, of course, draw more than one. We looked at a couple paintings that had several ice cream cones all in a row. Each one can be different. It is up to you. We're just gonna start with one, though. So we're gonna start with the cone. I'm gonna start with a skinny V. And I'm drawing pretty lightly, just so I can always go back and erase easily if I want to. And we're gonna go a little bit advanced with this cone. We're not gonna do just a plain line straight across. We're gonna do a curved line going down and another curved line like those fancy waffle cones you might see. Before we go any further with the ice cream, we're actually gonna put this ice cream cone inside one of those tables with holes in it that holds the cones upright, just like we saw in the painting. So to do that, we're gonna start with a straight horizontal line going behind the cone. And another one, lower down, going in front of it. These should be parallel. Now mine a little bit wavy, that's okay. You can always go back and erase it or leave it as is. You can use a ruler if you really wanna make sure that these are super parallel and straight. I'm just gonna go freehand. All right, you're gonna add one more line, also parallel, really close to that second one that you drew. Okay. Next, we're gonna draw a curved line that kind of wraps around our cone. This is gonna be the hole that that cone sits in. Just like that. All right, now it's time to erase what you don't need. You don't need any part of the cone that is kind of behind or underneath the table. All right, there we go. Now we're ready to go back and add our ice cream. Now I'm gonna show you a couple different ways to do this. The first one, it's gonna be more like soft serve. So for this type of ice cream cone, I like to draw sort of a wavy curved line, one on top of the other, getting smaller and smaller as it goes. And I kinda of like to end with a little swirl up top. So that is sort of our ice cream cone option one. I'm gonna show you option two before we go ahead and add all of our delicious details. Okay, option two of our ice cream might be something more like a scoop of a more traditional ice cream, maybe from Baskin Robbins or something. We're gonna start with a curved line, hovering it above the edge of our cone because we're gonna add a bumpy line right underneath it. We're gonna add another one on top, smaller, using that same technique. Looks like I'm gonna run out of paper soon. Hovering it up, hovering it above what I just drew so that I can go ahead and add that bumpy line. Maybe I can squeeze in one more tiny little scoop. Now, maybe I should have drawn my cone a little bit smaller or a little bit closer to the bottom of my paper, but this is just practice, one of many cones that I'm gonna be drawing. All right, and then you're gonna go back and erase those lines that you don't need to make sure it looks like each scoop of ice cream is sitting on top of the other. All right, you can stop here with either one or you can add some melting ice cream. So to do that, we're gonna practice doing sort of like teardrop drips. Again, erasing what you don't need. It's gonna be melting off the side of the cone. I hate when that happens, my hands get all sticky. All right, maybe some more ice cream is dripping off just like an Anna Barlow ceramic sculptures. Same thing here. Like a drippy, melty ice cream cone. 
any kind of wavy or sort of teardrop lines work really well for this effect. All right, now let's add the texture of our ice cream cone. We're just going to be doing that with, and you could have done this first before doing the drips, so it might have been a little bit easier. Some parallel diagonal lines. And then in the opposite direction. And same thing here. All right, let's do that. I could do that same thing with the other ice cream cone. Make sure that you're not forgetting to do the very tip of that cone. You can change the angle of your lines to change up the look of your waffle cone. Okay. All right, now it's time for all of those delicious extras. So you might have like a chocolate shell. We're gonna be using lots of those wavy lines today. If you wanna add like a little shine for the highlight, I know some of those chocolate shells dry and they're really shiny. You could add a drizzle of something, maybe caramel or like a fruit syrup. Or if you're like me, maybe more chocolate. Of course, you can add sprinkles, or maybe your ice cream has chocolate chips or M&Ms or pretzels or cheese puffs. I don't know, it's your ice cream. You can kind of use the same technique that we learned here to make a little bit of whipped cream on top of your ice cream cone if you want. Ooh, I'm gonna have to barely squeeze it in the side here. A little, little whipped cream, maybe a little cherry on top. Some more of that magic shell with a little highlight. You can really go crazy with these. You could add strawberries, you could add other fruits, other candies, other desserts on top. You could add a slice of cake on top of your ice cream. Think about how delicious and decadent and over the top Anna Barlow ceramic sculptures were. That's your inspiration for this ice cream. Do the same kind of thing over here. Sprinkles. Cherry. Really anything is possible. I'm so excited to see what you make. All right, as you can see, I've outlined my ice cream cones with marker and I started to color the tables. But I did wanna show you, you two more steps as you're coloring things that I want you to think about. The first one is adding a shadow where your ice cream cone is casting that shadow on that table. So to do that, all we're gonna do is add sort of a diagonal line behind our ice cream cone and color it in with a color that is darker than your table. It doesn't have to be a black shadow. You can, of course, use regular pencil if that's what you have. And I also want you to color right inside that hole that the ice cream cone is sitting in. See what a big difference that makes already? Same thing on this side. Now, my table is brown, so I'm actually going to do a brown, a brown shadow here, but same idea, diagonal line and color in to create that shadow. All right, I want you to still be thinking about shadow when you're coloring in your ice cream cone. Thinking about what we learned in, especially my fourth graders, but fifth graders learned this as well, having a light side and a dark side, we're still practicing that value. We've done a lot of value practice over the past couple weeks with these drawing exercises because Unless you're doing a simple line drawing, you're gonna have shadow, highlight, you're gonna be needing to use value. So let's say for example, I'm doing a, this ice cream cone, this flavor right here is gonna be strawberry. I can color it all one value by pressing, I would say I'm pressing medium hard right now. And that will look very nice as well. If you want your ice cream to look a little bit more realistic, you're going to add shadow. You're gonna make one side of the ice cream scoop darker than the other side. 
decide that's darker is going to be where that shadow is because the light is coming this way. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to press harder on that side of the ice cream cone, gradually making it blend in with the rest. That's all, dark to medium to as light as you want it to go. You can do the same thing with that chocolate magic shell, right? Dark, pressing as hard as I can. medium and I could bring it to light but the dark the chocolate's pretty dark so I'm going to keep it at a medium value all right oh I forgot to color in this part of the ice cream now if you're feeling pretty advanced you can keep going with that shadow on really every every drip every puddle Dark to medium to light. And of course, whenever you're coloring something in, it's a great opportunity to really focus on improving your craftsmanship. You can see even I'm getting a little bit messy here because I rushed and that's okay. That's okay. But the more you practice your craftsmanship, being careful, taking your time, using materials with purpose and intention, the more finished your pieces are gonna look. All right, I finished coloring in my ice cream cone and as you can see, I decided to come up with a couple silly, funny flavors. I've got tomato sauce delight and a brownie bliss sauce and a cheesy dreams ice cream and a sandwich swirl, all in an avocado flavored cone. So I'm excited to see how delicious or weird your flavor combinations are going to be. Have so much fun.